Hi friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. I know I am. I'm ready for our day four of Reach Out and Read's amazing science virtual summer camp. I'm Carrie and I'm excited to be back with you today as we talk about more exploration and science and questions and experiments that we have been doing all week. So yesterday we talked about colors, we talked about weather, we talked about mixing things together, and today we have a brand new topic that we'll be talking about and I'm excited to share it with you. Let's sing our good morning song first, okay? Are you ready? I know I am. Let's start with clapping. Here we go. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? Good morning, all my friends. How are you? It's time to start our day. Let's have some fun and play. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? All right, friends, let's wiggle our fingers next. Here we go. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? Wiggle. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? It's time to start our day. Let's have some fun and play. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? Wiggle. Very good, everyone. All right, let's think about what we're going to be talking about today. So, have you ever tried to mix different things together and they created an interesting result? Well, I'm thinking about a time when I tried mixing baking soda, which is something that you use to cook with, and vinegar, which is another thing you use to cook with. And when I mixed them together, they created what we call a chemical reaction. They bubbled, 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 bubbled up, and it looked kind of like an explosion. It was very, very cool. We call that a chemical reaction, and there's all kinds of different materials that we have around our house that can create reactions like that. So today we're talking all about chemical reactions, and we're going to do awesome experiments with things that you can find in your house. You might need to ask an adult to help with some of these because they can get a little bit messy. So ask an adult to help you with some of these experiments today, but they're all very safe, and I think we're going to have a great great day. Let's see what we're going to do today. Our read aloud is called CC Loves Science. I'm excited to hear about that one. For our craft, we are going to make magic milk art. And this is a chemical reaction that you can do with milk and food coloring and dish soap. Hmm, that sounds interesting. And what you could actually do is if you eat cereal for breakfast and you have leftover milk in your bowl, you can do this experiment with the leftover milk. You don't need to use um, new milk or to um, waste your milk that you could actually drink. Instead, you can use the leftovers. So that sounds like fun and I'm excited to see what that looks like. For our snack today, we are going to learn how to make homemade butter. That sounds interesting. I'm excited to try that. And then for our last activity, we are going to make something that I thought sounded really, really funny at first. We're gonna make something called elephant toothpaste. Do elephants use toothpaste to brush their teeth? I don't know. That's what this experiment is called. And it has a really, really cool effect. You're probably going to have to ask an adult to help you with that one, but it's going to be so much fun. I'm very excited to see what you guys do this week with your chemical reactions. And let's not forget our weekly Zigazoo challenge. We've challenged you to see what things in your house will sink or float. So you can get a container, fill it with water, and then find some objects around the house and then make your hypothesis whether they will sink or float. So take a video of yourself doing that experiment and you can post it on Zigazoo so we can check it out and that would be awesome to see. You can check out other people's videos of their sinking or floating too. So that link is in the description below. We also have the entire YouTube playlist that you can watch through to see all the fun activities we have today. And we also have our schedule below where you can print it out and look at all the activities to do today. All right, friends, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Have fun, scientists.